Parrot Jaco. In a distant tropical land, amidst dense jungles, lived a bright parrot named Jaco. His feathers shimmered with all the colors of the rainbow, and he was always proud of his beauty. Jaco loved to sit on the highest branches of trees, spreading his bright wings and showing off in front of other birds. Look at me, such silky feathers, and what a bright color! Jaco would shout, I am the most beautiful parrot in the jungle. The other birds didn't understand such behavior and wondered why he was always boasting. A little monkey, who had been observing the parrot for a long time, decided to speak up. You are really beautiful, but it's better not to brag about it. And it's not the most important thing in life. It's better to be able to do something. What do you do best? What do you mean it's not the most important thing? One day, all this will lead you to trouble, but it's your choice, said the monkey, and she went off to learn how to swim. The next day, while sitting high on a tree, Jaco saw a large ship approaching the island. The parrot was very excited and said, Great, those must be photographers and journalists. Finally, they'll appreciate my beauty and show me on TV. I'll become a world star. And the parrot quickly flew towards the ship. On the hot sand under the sun, some people were setting up their camp. These were pirates who had come to search for treasure. Jaco flew across the entire island to show himself off so that everyone could see the most beautiful parrot. The pirates immediately noticed the bright Jaco and captured him. He ended up in a cage. What a beautiful bright bird. It will make a nice decoration on our ship. And if it behaves badly, we'll make a delicious soup out of it. The pirates laughed loudly. Interesting. Does this bird know how to talk? One pirate asked another. Maybe it knows where the treasures are. Of course I know where the treasures are. I know everything. And I am the most beautiful parrot in the whole world. Thanks to the boastful parrot, the pirates found the treasures, loaded their bags, and were ready to leave. I'll take him for myself and play with him, said the boy, the captain's son. He took Jaco to the ship. While the boy went to get food, the monkey sneaked into the cabin. Jaco was very happy to see her. Let's get out of here quickly. The boy will be back soon. The keys are in the drawer. Hurry up and open the cage, whispered Jaco. The monkey found the keys and was almost about to open the cage when the boy entered and grabbed the monkey. How nice, now I'll have two friends, a parrot and a monkey. But why are you so sad? The boy wondered. We want to go home. Then the boy decided to let them go. Here, take my inflatable ring. No treasures in the world can replace freedom. I hope you return home soon. The monkey and the parrot returned to the island. After this, the parrot no longer boasted about his beauty. He understood that true wealth is freedom, friends, and the ability to do something. Thank you, monkey, for saving me, said Jaco. And from that time on, Jaco learned to be more modest, knowing that boasting could lead to trouble. <laughs>